I'd like to welcome you all here today for this commemoration. Generally, we'd like to say celebration, but we can't talk about a celebration when we're thinking about the destruction of two cities and the death of 200,000 people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki 68 years ago. I'd like to uh, welcome all of you and I know many of you have been working at this agenda for many, many, many years. I think of Doug Roach, Doug Walker, and uh, the huge efforts that you have made on all our behalf at places like the United Nations and in Ottawa and uh, places like that. Uh, thank you. I think of Marilyn and the, uh, the Raging Grannies and the women in black and your stellar commitment to the cause of peace for so many, many years. Uh, I think of Jean and Vanna and your many years of work and Will and Bill and uh, Helen. Uh, how many years ago did uh, Project Plowshare start in 1973? That's 40, <laughs> that's 40 years, 40 years of hard work and dedication. And I would be remiss if I didn't uh, mention uh, Roy Kupenberg. Uh, Roy and I met first in 1964 when Roy was my supervising principal at the Sand Lake Indian Agency and I was a teacher, a rookie teacher. And it was Roy who encouraged me in so many different ways. Thank you, Roy. And Roy has also been standing up for justice and uh, peace among the Aboriginal people. And has done a very, very fine work at that. I think of Jim Garnett and the way he has represented us in the legislature and other places. Uh, Randy about uh, incorporating Aboriginal people into our society in a just and sustainable way. So, uh, my apologies to those of you whom I did mention, but uh, we have here a stellar group of people who have represented the cause of peace in many different venues, under many different circumstances, for a very, very long period of time. So, thank you and welcome. We are here to remind ourselves of the destructiveness of war, the stupidity of war, and how war corrupts us human beings. In 1937, when Hitler, under the imputation of the Spanish fascists, bombed Guernica, the world leaders condemned this as a brutal, and terrible, illegal act. It was harshly condemned all over the world. Just eight years later, after a brutal war, these same leaders atomic bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The Japanese were already suing for peace, and the bombing of the two cities and the deaths of 200,000 people was unnecessary even from a military point of view. But by August 1945, the leadership of the Allies had become indifferent to the suffering and destructiveness of war. We are here to say, no, that was not right. 